Yes, I am Melissa Barrett, and I am the current Mrs. Alaska America. How kids have, how many kids have you? Oh, I have two daughters. They are ages almost 14. I have a 14 year old almost and a, a nine year old. Oh, soon she, the first, your first daughter soon will be competitive in Miss Teen Alaska, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Not my oldest one. My youngest one, maybe. She's more interested in pageants, not my oldest, though. <laughs> oh, you have a great support with, with your daughter. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What is your occupation now? Are you, uh, are you, uh, where do you work? Oh, so I am a currently a stay at home mom. I did work um, for about almost two years at a hospital. I was a secretary, but I had to make the decision to either continue working or to take care of my family. So I decided it was more important to take care of my family. <laughs> I think it's a good decision. What, what are you most proud in your family? Um, I am most proud that we just, we really love to be with each other. We love hanging out with each other. Um, just the closeness that we have. Our girls don't mind hanging out with their uncool mom and dad. So <laughs> I'm really proud about that. <laughs> Which value, which value do you inculcate to your daughter, to your kids? Um, I tell them all the time just to be grateful and thankful for what they have in life. Um, there's so many kids out there that don't have a lot of things. And so the life that we live isn't grand, but it is definitely um, something, something to be thankful for every day. Why did you decide to enter in pageantry? Um, so initially, this is my this was my second time doing the Mrs. Alaska um, pageant. So um, initially last year, I decided to do it because my oldest my oldest daughter she loves to sing, and I asked her if she was going to do the school um, talent show, and she's like, "Mom." No, I don't think so because I'm really afraid that people are going to judge me. And I said, you know, you can't keep the fear of other people judging you from doing the things that you love. And so here I am eating my words because I was like, well, you should do this, but I don't do anything to show that, hey, mom's, mom's scared to do stuff too. So I was like, well, there's this pageant coming up. And I used to do pageants when I was growing up, not a lot just a few of them, but um, I thought it was a good opportunity to show that, hey, mom can be really scared to do things too, but I really want to try to do this, um, something big, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. So that's what made me do the pageant last year was because of my daughters, and I wanted to show them, hey, I want to do in order to show, so there you go. <laughs> Before last year, you never competed in pageantry? Not at the state level, no. It's a great challenge for you. Oh, yes, it is. It's a lot more than I expected um, going into it, especially at a state level. Um, but I learned so much from pageantry just in the two years that I did it. Um, I have so much self-growth and I think I've learned a lot <laughs> about myself and how strong I actually can be. And how do you manage your crown duty, your family, your, your, your house? Because it's a full time, oh. it's a full time job. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. That's what I've learned too. It is a full time job, but I just take one day at a time. Really, um, that's the only thing that I feel like we can do is just take everything one at a time. And I, I do make a lot of lists because if it's not right, you know, written down, then I may forget it. But I keep my calendar close. I keep my pen close, and like I said, just taking one day at a time. And your husband supports you during your way? 
Oh, yes. He's supported me from the very beginning. So um, he has a lot more faith, you know, in me than I do myself sometimes. But having him by my side is really, is really great. What are you looking forward to the most in, in, uh, in November in, um, at Mrs. America pageant? Um, I am really just looking forward to the experience that we're, me and all the other ladies are going to have. I feel like this is just like a once in a lifetime kind of thing. And not many people get to experience a week of just amazing events and getting to meet some really great women all over the, um, all over the United States. So I'm really looking forward to that. And what is your most fear uh, at this pageant? My fear is probably falling flat on my face on stage, <laughs> slipping or something like that. That is my biggest fear. <laughs> Because you have no, you um, working with the height, I, I, shoes, height, and shoes is very difficult for you. Oh, um, sometimes it could be. I mean, I'm pretty short. I'm about five foot, so I need all the height I can get. But I think I do pretty well in some high heels. <laughs> in this competition, what is the most difficult for you? Interview, uh, swim suite, evening gun? Oh, it's definitely got to be the interview part. Um, It's really hard for me. I'm usually the one asking questions and getting to know other people. So for me to talk about myself and my experiences and the way I feel about things that's going on in the world, it's just kind of difficult for me. But I know that it's really important for me to also have a voice and to speak on behalf of other people as well, especially as a title holder. And you have, you have right, you become a voices. You become a spokeswoman, spoke, spokeswoman, spokesman, spoke voices for the organization. What is your platform with your title of Mrs. Alaska America? So my personal platform is supporting and advocating our for our military families and their spouses. Um, I advocate for resources and support for those that need help. Because I myself am a military spouse. My husband is in the United States Air Force, and which is why we got to move here to Alaska. You, you have a Mrs. Virginia America. Is, all, is also is a, a spoon of military too. Yes, she is. And that's really funny you mentioned her because I actually met a friend of hers. She lives here in Alaska. And I just met her last week i think and she's like hey my friend is mrs virginia and i was like no way no <laughs> and she is a military spouse yes i think her husband is a pilot actually yes yes she's a fighter pilot fighter pilot in uh, in virginia the husband of mrs virginia america oh wow okay yeah <laughs> In, at mrs america this year we have we have a lot of spoon of military Yes. <laughs> Military power. Yes. Go to the, to the, to the Las Vegas. Oh, yes. <laughs> For you, what is the most difficult to be a mother or to be a beauty queen? Oh, geez. I would have to say the most difficult is actually being a mother um, because we try so hard to be good examples for our kids. And we hope that we set them up for success for the future. And I feel like that's a really, a really hard thing that we put pressure on ourselves as parents to do. Um, so yeah, just being a mother, I think is really difficult. I like to tell a lot of my military spouses because we always feel like we're failing as mothers, right? And so I always tell them, You know, if you're not, if you don't feel like you're failing as a mother, then you're probably not doing something right. <laughs> Mrs. America is a beauty contest, but it's not only a beauty contest. It's more important with the platform, the organization, the national organization has the Victoria Voices like a platform. You are your personal platform. What is your definition of beauty, the word beauty for you? 
I feel like the definition of the word beauty is definitely what a person is inside and um you know everyone's beautiful in their own ways but what they reflect on the inside and how they truly are is really a good definition of beauty um for me at least some people in the in the newspaper write a mother a spoons has nothing to do in a beauty pageant what do you think about this that a mother in a beauty pageant has nothing to do with it oh um i think it has so much to do with it as a as a mother you can be an example a prime example for many women and represent so many women um and we just we learn so much through our kids and that's who make that's who makes us who we are are our kids um so just being a, an example as a mother would is just something that's really important that I feel that you grow with the pageant as a, I don't know I don't know how to explain that <laughs> that's really that's a that's a hard that's a difficult question I feel like you know it's <laughs> for me a mother has as as has to do as something to do in the beauty pageant because you, you become um a role model for a lot of women. Beauty pageant is not only a beauty, a glamour. You you can you can give some advice to the to 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 the mother to the woman. It's a it's a different. I think you have you have you have your your places in the pageant. It's very different, but we have a places and we are a great great voices in pageant. I agree, yes, perfect. <laughs> With the title of Mrs. Alaska America, you become a role model for a lot of women, I imagine. Do you like to be a role model for women? Oh, yes, I love to be a role model. Um, I love to be, would love to be a mentor for a lot of our girls that are growing up, um, you know, teenage years is really hard. I have one. So I completely understand the phases that she's going through currently. And sometimes it could be harder for other girls, um, you know, than most. So I, being in the spotlight, I guess, I'm not used to being in the spotlight, but um, I think it's really important that I use this opportunity to be able to inspire our young generation of women and hopefully inspire them to be strong, independent women. What is for the moment your best memory of your reign? Um, so far, oh man, I don't know, so many. <laughs> best memory of my reign. So far, I have been completely involved with a lot of community events and each of those events are so memorable in its own. I get to support our schools here in Alaska by being a part of ribbon cutting ceremonies. I get to be a part of um, organizations that I believe in and get to represent the whole state as a whole um, on top of doing what I love doing, which is volunteering. Um, so <laughs> I really love to volunteer with the USO Alaska here. Um, since my personal platform is supporting military, military families, they align exactly on what I want to do with my platform. So um, working alongside with them, not only supporting families, but we also support the, sol the soldiers. Uh, we are a joint base here. Um, so we actually have Army and Air Force and a couple of Marines and Navy. So it is a really unique base. And just working alongside the USO, I get to give back um, to the military that way. You stay in Alaska during how many years? So we moved here in 2017. So we've been here for a little over four and a half years. We have a long time again 
in Alaska? What is that? How many how many months or years have you do you stay in Alaska again? Well, oh well, we've been here for a little over four and a half years, but I'm hoping that we'll get to stay because I I love it here. <laughs> so I would I really want to stay forever. <laughs> What do you like the most in Alaska? Oh, besides the beauty of it, because it is absolutely beautiful. Um, the mountains here are beautiful. You get the northern lights during this time too. So it's really fun going to chase the northern lights. But I, what I really love about Alaska is that we are, even though it's a big state, it is really, close community. I love that we like to say Alaskans supporting Alaskans and it's really true whenever it comes down to somebody needing help or for example uh, local businesses they really have a lot of support from their community and I love that. The winter is not too difficult to live in Alaska. <laughs> You know, no, so far, so far, no. And it's funny because my family and I, we live in our RV, so we are full-time RVers. And um, a lot of people ask us all kinds of questions about the winter time living in our RV. And we're like, you know, it's it's really not bad at all because my husband, he does a, he did a lot of research and we stay warm, we stay pretty warm. <laughs> Your, your husband can travel to Las Vegas with you during the national in November? Yes, my family, my husband will be there, yes. It's a great, it's a great uh, travel for, for your family. Oh, yes. Well, we've been to Las Vegas before. Um, we love to travel, so we do have friends that are in Las Vegas, and we thought that the girls, our girls should go and see it, and they really... They really love it there, so they're excited about going back. Why do you think you are the best candidate to win the crown of Mrs. America this year? Oh, geez. <laughs> That's a loaded question. <laughs> um, if I were to say the best, but I don't think that... It's hard to say that you're the best of anything um, because you try to do your best in everything that you do. Um, so all of us that are going to Las Vegas, we're all fighting for something that we have passion for and that either we've gone through and experienced ourselves, And so I feel that Hopefully the judges won't have a hard time, you know, deciding who is actually the best, but I feel like we're all deserving in our own ways. What is your best asset to win the crown of Mrs. America? My best asset? Oh, geez. I guess it would just be that I am, I feel that I'm a warm, relatable person and maybe that's good enough towards the, the title. <laughs> if you win the crown of Mrs. America, you go automatically to Mrs. World. Is it a dream for you to go to Mrs. World? Oh, um, I can't even imagine getting to that point because it's so, right now it's just so surreal. I'm just hoping to even make Mrs. America at this point, but it would be an amazing experience. Yes, we have a lot, of, we're meeting a lot of girls, a lot of culture. It's very, very big. It's very different of Mrs. America, but the sisterhood is the same. Oh, yeah, yeah. I bet you guys are really busy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mrs. Mrs. World 2012, April, say me, Mrs. World or Mrs. America is a full, full-time job. It's the same job, but it's a full, full-time job. Oh, yeah. I, have you the time, have you the time, if you win the crown, to, to, if you win the crown of Mrs. America, have you the time for, for this title? 
of this job? Yes, I definitely think that I would have time because, you know, life is about balancing things that you want to do in life. Um, if you want to do great things in life and your family will be there to support you. And as long as you have that support, I think you could do a lot of things in your life. And you, your husband is ready to become the husband of Mrs. America? <laughs> oh, yes. He's already loving being Mrs. Mr. Alaska America, so he's ready. <laughs> Because it's a job for the team, your husband and you. Yes, I agree, most definitely. If you win the code of Mrs. America, which message do you want pass Do you want to pass to inculcate during your reign? The message I'd like to pass on is, you know, even though I'm a military spouse and I advocate for our, for our military families and spouses, it's really all about connecting and building stronger bonds within our families, not only in military, but outside of the military as well. So strength in numbers, building family, um, family bonds is really important to me. My last question is R for all candidates. Who is your favorite Mrs. America? Oh, geez. So, you know, I, I haven't done my research. And, you know, being that I only started to do pageants two years ago, I couldn't even really tell you right now <laughs> who it would be. So, oh, yeah, I cannot. I do not know at this point. <laughs> Next question. What is your guilty pleasure in life? My guilty pleasure in life. Oh, really, I think it's just not really even guilty, just pleasure of my family, just being really close to my family. They're really important to me. And everything that we do together, um, creating memories and experiences is what makes me happy. So I don't know, I don't feel guilty about that. <laughs> no. Are you a good chef? Oh, like cooking? Cooking, are you a good cooker? <laughs> um, I would say my family gets fed every night. <laughs> I, I accept this, this, this answer, no problem. You use a lot of social media to promote your platform, to promote your journey, to promote your family. What do you think the, the, do you think the social media, the power of social media is not too dangerous today? Um, you know, I think social media to me is really bittersweet because um, we, as military, we, we like to use social media to share our experiences with family whenever we move away. Um, and a lot of people use it for their, for their platforms in order to have a voice and speak on how they feel on certain events. But I do feel like it does have its negative effects on some people. Um, And I really couldn't tell you where that balance could be, but I definitely believe that there could be a lot of good more than bad when it comes to social media. How do you manage to protect yourself, your family against the bad comments, the haters? Uh, thankfully, I haven't had to come across any bad comments. Uh, a lot of the things that I stay out of is I don't really post a lot about my religious or my political um, beliefs because I feel like everyone has their own, you know, and everyone should respect others' opinions. Um, so thankfully, I haven't had to come across a lot of negative or any negative comments. And Do you, do you control the social media of your kids? <coughs> I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Do you control what your daughter, your kids post on social media? 
oh well my daughters don't have social media right now so <laughs> you elders you elder you elder have no social media no well do you count youtube as a social media yes youtube is a social media okay well she does have a youtube channel but uh she doesn't post her face um on anything and we always tell her to not not post anything personal or comment you know any personal details of like what your father does where we live and, and all that good stuff so but she is a gotcha tuber i don't know if you know what that is it's like gotcha life and they she creates characters and creates movies out of them. So really creative. And you, do you prefer YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok maybe? Oh man, I couldn't tell you how to work TikTok at all. <laughs> um, so I would have to be a Facebook person because that's where I'm comfortable with. Um, yeah, we'll just go with Facebook. <laughs> Which item is wow, amazing in your purse? In my purse? Oh, in my purse? <laughs> I don't think I have anything amazing in my purse, but one thing that I don't leave is my calendar. I always have my calendar in my purse. <laughs> what is, what, which essential item do you put always in your bag, in your luggage, and you can leave your house without? Oh, well, like I said, it's my, well, I guess it would have to be my phone or my calendar because without them, I think I would be lost. <laughs> Are you desperate if you lose your phone? Am I what? Are you a desperate woman, a desperate <laughs> housewife, if you lose your phone? Oh, no. Sometimes I'm really happy to leave it at home, <laughs> just to disconnect every once in a while. It's, the, dis, the disconnection is important, I think, because yes. the, the social media is more, more toxic sometimes. Yes, I do agree. Sometimes it's good just to say, you know, take a break. And apart from pageantry, what, what do you enjoy to do with your family? Outside of pageantry, what do I like to do with my family? Is yes. that it? So being that we live in our RV, we really like to travel. Um, our love for travel started when we learned, we lived in Germany for four years and just being able to cross over country lines was amazing. And so here in Alaska, we don't get to go to different countries. So um, we just like taking our home and going, we call it glamping um, because you know, you're not, ten, you're not camping in a tent. So, <laughs> but outside of pageantry, we really just do love going camping and um, creating memories in our home. What is your favorite country to travel? Oh, country. Oh my gosh. So many. Um, I can't pick, I can't ever choose because we've been to, we've been to the Netherlands, we've been to, um, we've been to England, we've been to Croatia, we've been to Italy. Oh, well, I guess, okay, if I had to choose maybe Italy because I think there's so much history there and I really love the wine. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good reason. The food <laughs> is, a, is the best reason to like a country. Oh, yes, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> your best food, your best dish, your best dish. Oh. oh, my recipe. Oh, geez. It would have to be my Asian food. So it would have to be my pancet and my lumpia. I don't know if you're really familiar with the Asian foods, but yeah, my best recipes come from my mom. What is your favorite movie or TV series? 
favorite movie of oh, TV series. Oh, TV series. Jeez. I don't feel like I have a lot of time to watch TV series. <laughs> so I really don't know what's out there. Um, as far as favorite movies, uh, it's whatever my daughters want to watch. <laughs> Your, your daughter watch a lot of series? Oh, uh, no, they actually watch a lot of movies like Spy Kids or My Little Ponies or actually they like to watch a lot of um, cooking shows, you know, baking shows. Yeah. I like uh, Master Chef or Top Chef. Yeah, so Top Chef, they really do like watching Top uh, Chef and um, Zumbo's best desserts or something like that. So yeah. it's about baking. Yeah. In, in fact, you can watch on Netflix this uh, this TV show. The Zumbos, yeah. Yes. It's a it's a it's a it's a fun it's a fun oh. it's a fun cooking show. <laughs> oh yes, yes, it is. Um, my message would be to always be yourself, be grateful for life, and take advantage of the good in life. 